Hi. Um, y'all like my nails? Anyways, um, hopefully I look okay. Hi, um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I go by Jay, it's Jupiter Makes, and I like to crochet plushies. I make hand paint to safety eyes at crochet hooks that I go to markets full time. Um, these clicks are kind of loud. And if you're not new here, hi, welcome back. Thank you for being loyal. I appreciate it. Mwah. All right. So where do I start? All right. Last time you saw me doing a whole market breakdown for pride that I had in June, but I did the video in like August. Um, and now this is October. Um, a lot has happened. I think I'm probably just going to tell you guys how much I made in July and August together. I'm not going to break down how much I sold um, because they suck. I, I'm pretty sure I don't even have like any clips. a fun time this is going to be a shorter video i just want to give you guys the rundown of my experiences during the last bit of my summer event events which is july and august um in july i had two events in august i only was able to find one so i only had three um let me tell you this was not good at all um, during these two months, I was just such in a financial rut after these markets. And I'm just going to say some markets are just not it. I have seen from other crocheters as well that some markets are just not it. I don't know why this weather has been more, it's been more hotter. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't a fun time. I know this one event I signed up for last minute, which was already a last minute event. Um, which take from me, don't ever do that. Like if an event's not already like established or stuff like that, don't sign up for it. Just don't. It was thirty five dollars, and I only made one sale, which was this axolotl that I had. I don't know if I have any pictures, but the owner, uh, she bought it because I told her I had a family emergency, which I didn't. I just wanted to leave. Because I was about to be there for like four hours. And I think I was only there for like two hours. Maybe an hour. Two. I don't know. I just know I left early. Because I just. It was like a waste of time being there. I was supposed to have an event. In the beginning of July. But after Pride. I literally had like four items left over. And I could not prep. A lot in those two weeks. And it was such a really long event. It was from like 10 to 8. I'm like, ain't no way I'm going to survive this. Wonder how well I would have done if I actually had stuff. But I didn't. Um, and I had another event at the end of July. I think it was July 28th, I believe so. Or 27th. It was on a Sunday. Um, I want to pop in my display stuff as always. Uh, this was at a Sunflower Festival. And I thought this was going to be like a big event. Um, didn't really take account of the admission fee, which was like 20 something bucks. And it was like super far away, like further away than what I normally go to. So I kind of had to beg my friend to take me because <laughs> I thought it would just be like really big. Um, it wasn't. Um, I actually did not 
put in any of my transactions in Square because the Wi-Fi was at some sort of like like a sunflower festival but like I don't know where the hell it was at it was like in like the middle of like nowhere and the service sucked there was 30 vendors 30-ish vendors and there was six crocheters I was included so yeah and I'm pretty sure almost all of them have some sort of plushies some sort I'm trying to find it's like in my notes because I couldn't do anything about it all right I found it um I only did six sales and sold eight I think eight plushies that day um <clears throat> I'm gonna flash some pictures on what I sold here <laughs> and maybe put in like little like price tags but it was $50 to be there and um I made $97 but I didn't make back my past booth fee and the other past booth fee that I had to not go to the event for so I was pretty much in the negatives past me is just gonna put in the math right here um yeah it was not a fun time not a fun time in July I did get heartbroken um so I almost did not want to do events at all but then coming up to like August I think I went August 11th um I signed up for this event last minute I went to there before it was at Nerdfest I specifically asked them if there was another um <laughs> um <clears throat> I specifically asked them before I signed up was there any um other plushie makers they said no there's not I'm like all right it's the last table too my friend likes going there I'm gonna buy it I'm just gonna go for it um I got placed in a different spot that I had before I was I was more further away from the entrance which sucked but I was like, you know what, if I'm the only one, it should be okay, right? Got there, set up, completely set up everything. Until I looked over by the entrance, there was another plushie maker. I'm like, are you, are you serious? I'm gonna go on a rant about that later. But I got upset. Did I cry a little bit? Yeah, I cried. Not like where people can hear me, but tears went down my eyes. Um... I'm just gonna put up some like memorable stuff that sold um but at the, throughout the day I made 11 sales and sold oh no I just had it I lost it okay I found it <laughs> had 11 sales and sold 16 plushies that day um totaling and I gave like a discount I forgot why oh because when we went there so it was like my friend he's a plumber he had someone that would specifically specifically request for him at his job they was there they like my little pokemon stuff so i gave him a discount um so the total for the day was 210 which if i wasn't like in a bad mood if i wasn't in a bad mood or if i had another event lined up would it be too bad but the fact that I didn't and it was so much it was more dead than it was the first talk and I was like huh and we was inside so yeah in total of those um two uh terrible months I made uh exactly three hundred dollars in those two months <laughs> <sighs> which was not not a good time oh in reality i would have actually made this much if he took out all the boofies and all that stuff <laughs> um <clears throat> summer is just not it 
it's really really not it i honestly now seeing how summer was there was like another pride event that was like in the beginning of um september but i had another big event coming up like i had like two big events one of them was actually a big event the other one wasn't which i'll talk about in the next video um and I didn't want to run into a risk of like running out stuff again like I did at my first Pride event. So I didn't go. But during the summer, I'm definitely just going to sign up for like Pride events because that's where my demographic is at for the most part. Um, now, doubling back to asking event coordinators if there's pleasure makers. I tend to ask. I do. So I just have an idea. Back then, I just did not want like another one to be there. But now I'm accepting the fact like, all right, there's something going to be there. I just want to be mentally prepared for what I'm getting myself into. And if a place tells me no, I'm going in there like, hell yeah, I'm the only one. You know, but no, that wasn't the case. For the Sunflower Festival, the fact that there were six of us and I kept hearing all day, like, oh, wow, they have a lot of crochet here. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, oh, great. I think literally after this nerd fest i was completely ready to quit like i was completely ready to quit i don't understand why event coordinators can't just like look look at the application and just tell me the truth like what is so hard about that because if they want to say yes i would not have gone i would not have gone because for like a small show like that i wouldn't have gone simple as that <coughs> excuse me but yeah, it just was not a fun time. This editing, Jay. I gotta look at there. I'm back home, as you can tell. New background. But I would also like to preference that event coordinators need to like start capping at certain um, categories. Which lately, if you want to tell by the feature, um, I have been stumbling into events where they do cap out. Which kind of sucks, but i rather for them to do that versus just taking everybody in. Which is what I was referencing to the Sunflower Festival. Um, Nerd Fest, I just wish they could have just said that they had another one. I definitely wouldn't have signed up. Um, if I nerd, like for sun the Sunflower Festival, I just told them like, hey, um, maybe you shouldn't have a lot of the same vendors and stuff like that. And there was like a vendor next to me that extended their 10 foot space, their 10 by 10 space. So whenever I forgot to say this. So whenever people would walk down the um, aisle, they wouldn't even look at me and the other crocheter. They would look immediately at like the other person stuff, which looked like a garage sale for the most part. And even from, like, the other side, they wouldn't even look at us because their spot was just more than 10 by 10. I was like, this is absolutely crazy. And, and you know what they say to me? They just said this event wasn't for me. I'm like, seriously? It could be for me, but you actually, like, literally suck. Like, you suck. You suck at promoting. You suck at, like, trying to get things in order. I'm pretty sure that person wasn't even there. Like, the organizer? I don't even know. But... It is what it is. So, the only I think some memorable moments was during the Sunflower Festival. This little girl she bought my little angel plushie, and during Nerd Fest, there was this dude that bought two of my Pokemon's, and I made one on the spot for him. So that was that was cool. Oh, also this lady. Literally, right the like, literally the moment that we opened, or even beforehand, she bought my Deadpool and Wolverine bees, which I literally made the night before. So yeah, and this one dude bought my little cheeky turtle. Also later the same day at the event, well not at that ah, eh, not at the event, but <laughs> later when I got home, I posted on Facebook like stuff for sale but of course I can't say my trademark stuff was for sale so I just said oh trademark stuff's not for sale but the person that I have sold something to before asked me how much Deadpool was told them and I just dropped it off to him dropped it off to them so that was some of my memorable times but other than that I'm definitely not going to do summer because I actually did better during the springtime 
this summer. So, yeah, I'm sorry that this video is short. I don't even know how to act. I haven't recorded in a bit. But yeah, those was my two months in the summertime. Not fun. Not it. Um, if your summer was good, I'm happy. Yay. Um, tell me all about it. If your summer was whack just like mine, tell me all about it too. We both can virtual hug it out. And know not to do it again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.